Hi, my name is Tal, a sales application engineer at Munters. Today we'll be talking about RLED 2.0. If I were to sum up in one sentence the main upgrade in RLED 2.0 is that this light dimmer enables you to easily control almost any LED light bulb. The RLED 2.0 supports all the features found in previous devices, but in addition, you can calibrate the RLED to work with whatever light bulb you're using. No more need to see if the RLED 2.0 has the bulb profile meeting your specifications. Okay, so how do I set up the RLED 2.0? The first parameter is CN, and that determines how the RLED is using the electricity. It is very technical and most likely should be kept the default. If after the whole process of calibrating, you feel that the bulbs do not dim low enough, you can try changing this parameter. Remember, changing this parameter requires recalibrating the RLED. The next step is critical. You need to calibrate your RLED 2.0 to work with your specific bulbs. What this means is that you define the minimum lighting level. Before you start, your RLED 2.0 must be connected to the light bulbs. Press and hold the option buttons for three seconds. Now, adjust the pulse width to get it to the minimum lighting level that you want. Press the up and down arrow keys to do that. Long presses will change the value by five points and quick presses will change it by one point. One other thing, be sure to calibrate your light bulbs every time you install new bulbs. The next step is to define how you want the RLED 2.0 to communicate with the controller. Press and hold the options button for three seconds. Go to CH. Select zero, which means using zero to 10 volt DC analog input, or select one to eight, which is the number of connections channel. If you have a platinum controller, four is the highest number you can choose. At this point, you are good to go. Just a couple of more features left. Now let's choose the pulse level. Some bulbs react better when getting a strong electrical pulse for a split second when they turn on. This parameter will determine the pulse strength. Press and hold the options button for three seconds and go to PU. Now choose the level. Zero means that this function is disabled and you will have no pulse and 1 to 9 are the lowest and highest pulse levels. Okay, one last step. The RLED 2.0 has a button called Bright. Pressing this button will turn the lights on. The lights will remain on for 20 minutes or until you press the Auto button and get back to automatic operation. This brightness level can also be tuned. Press the Options button for 3 seconds. Go to BR. The default is on, which means 100%. Use the arrow keys and define the brightness. That's it. The entire configuration takes a few minutes. I assure you, it is much simpler than it appears to be.